Hey everyone, welcome to Heavy Metal. Today we're going to be doing a little bit of comparison revolver versus semi and 45 ACP. Uh, which one you think actually sends a bullet out faster? I mean, the revolver does have a cylinder gap in it, so you're losing pressure there. Yet the semi auto is a blowback, so you got some pressure coming back there. Let me show you what we got for this. We're going to be shooting out of both firearms some Blazer 230 grain, just basic full metal jacket. What I consider just good basic range ammo. For the revolver, we pulled out, oh yeah, the 1917 Smith & Wesson. Yeah, get you a good look at that thing. This thing right here is just, uh, this is a very nice piece of history and actually a very, very good shooter. And we'll be using it for the revolver and for the semi, we'll be using my everyday carry, the small Remington RP45. Yep, this has been a good one. Uh, can't say it has it. Let me go ahead and uh, get that defense ammo out of there. Now I've got a uh, moon clip full of the blazer for the revolver. And I've got a mag for the semi that has the blazer in it. And what we're going to do is shoot five shots each over the chronograph and get us some speeds. And then just for the fun of it, we're going to zoom way on out there to 50 yards and uh, pop that piece of steel so we can get a reaction out of that. Well, let's uh, let's grab our ears. So these are 45s, they're not BB guns, so we don't want to go deaf. Get that hood back on. Yeah, it's still just barely like right at freezing out today. All right, got the chronograph cranked up. Let's do the revolver first. Man, it has been a day since I've shot this thing. Really, really like this. This is this is a nice, nice piece. All right, let's see. We'll put five of them through there and get us a good average. Seven seventy nine. No reading. Error. Seven thirty nine, seven forty five, and a seven thirty nine. I think that's all of them, guys. All right, that's all of them for the revolver. I will put them averages right up here. Even though a couple of them didn't read, we got enough on there to get a good average. Now for our semi. So same ammo, same distance. I'm roughly, uh, I don't know, 15-ish feet away from the chronograph. Error. I think I tagged the chronograph. Oh, we got an 809. An 826. An 811. An 825. And a 786. And I will put them averages right up here. Well, as you see there, uh, just off my head, I ain't done the math yet. Doesn't seem like there's really a ton of difference. Let's grab, uh, grab us one here for the revolver since we had to shoot all of them. Go up there and get us a uh, tag on that target. 
I always hate taking these things out. If I had to complain about the revolver, it would be unloading the moon clips. They just give me a really hard way to go. All right, good enough. All we need is one to target target. All right. Let's see if we can hit that thing at 55 yards. Let's see if we can clock this correctly. This is a left-hand spin. All right, Paul, don't miss it. You only give one try. Oh, baby. Yeah, I got a good hit on her. Now, but RP, I better not miss this. This will never take care of it. We tagged her. No problem. Oh, get these ears off. Well, guys, there you have the results of that. Uh, which, in my opinion, are quite interesting. Because I expected a little bit more of a difference. I mean, we got a modern gun here. It says RP-45. This one's made... I think in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. And of course, this revolver made in 1917. There is not a whole lot of difference there as far as, you know, the speeds go. And as you can see, as far as the accuracy goes. So, that's why I like to come out here and do these kind of tests. I mean, the only big difference is, of course, this one's heavier than my RP. And we got six rounds here, where we have 15 in here. And of course the sights and, you know, what have you. It's just what you're used to. But now if you're carrying a wheel gun for hunting, defense, or whatever, you know, at least this test shows you, and I'm sure some of the newer wheel guns are probably built a little tighter maybe, depending on the brand, that you're really not losing a lot of velocity in a revolver versus your semi auto well, guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I mean, I enjoyed shooting it. Love the 45. It's one of my favorites. Uh, if you would, throw me down some comments. Uh, if you're able, hit us up on Patreon. And please, like, share, and subscribe. Again, thank you all very much. Until the next one, I hope that everyone has a fantastic day.